Hey everybody, Kenny Klaus here. Hey, happy holidays from myself and our entire team. I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you guys very much again to another amazing year despite all the chaos and craziness going on in our world. The real estate market has continued to stay very, very steady with low interest rates and low inventory. And we just wanted to say a sincere thanks. We are uh, heading into our fifth year with Klaus Team Cares, our charity. So for everyone you refer and every uh, you know, home that you buy and sell with us, we take a portion of that commission and, and donate it back to our charity, which allows us to give in the local communities. Um, this will be our fifth year now where we're helping families in our local area here. So these dollars stay right here in the communities. Uh, this year we have about 24 families representing about 84 kids that were um, on the list that needed some assistance for Christmas. Um, so. Uh, we've got a group that's been out doing all the shopping um, and uh, this Saturday actually we are doing the wrapping party at 10 o'clock. If you're interested in volunteering or helping out with that just to come wrap gifts for an hour or so um, let us know just reach out we'd love to get you the information of where we'll be um, and again confirming hours and that kind of thing but most importantly just want to say thank you for your continued support your referrals that allow us to be able to do so much good here in the local community and take care of these families in need um, we also for those who uh, get our, our local newsletter here uh, we have some additional ways this year uh, United Food Bank, as always, and we do this pretty much year-round, but you're welcome to drop off at our office Monday through Friday, and we'll get it to them, or reach out to us. If you're local here, we can uh, you know, try to get that picked up. Also, another thing that we do um, with the Salvation Army is the fries at Guadalupe and Signal Butte. We will be there starting today, um, and we'll be there every Wednesday in December for uh, from 11 to 7, uh, ringing the bells and believe it or not a lot of times the Salvation Army has to hire and pay people to actually do that so as an industry we uh, and our team will be at the Fry's ringing bells from 11 to 7 next Wednesday December 9th any donation that is made Klaus Team Cares our charity will be matching that and you can uh, come by in person and donate to the kettles or you can go to klausteamcares.org and donate online and all that money will go directly to the Salvation Army to, to obviously support their great cause. So if you're in the area, pop by and uh, see one of our team members. We'll be at both doors again uh, the next four Wednesdays in December from 11 to 7. And again, next Wednesday will be where we'll uh, double up on whatever donations we get through the charity. So I just wanted to say a sincere thanks. I know it's been a crazy year. I appreciate everyone pulling together. You guys continuing to put your name to us and refer people that we can help and including yourselves. It allows us, like I said, to uh, donate a portion of our commission back to our charity where we can uh, take care of things that are happening locally in the community. And on our website, klausteamcares.org, we have a list of some of the things that have you know, gone on this year that we've been able to help with. So it's nice to have, uh, have the money in advance of the tragedy or the scenario where someone needs a little bit of help to get over that hump, especially this year. So again, thank you. We look forward to an amazing 2021. We have more programs now than we've ever had. Really excited our buy first then sell program. Uh, it allows you to go buy your new home, actually move in, get your old home ready and sell it for top dollar. This program I wish I would have had for the last 20 years and excited to share more with you. So reach out, private consultation, just to kind of go over it, see if it's a good fit for you. Um, but 2021, we expect to be a very, very good year still, uh, appreciation wise and low rates. So keep us in mind for yourself or anyone you know, thinking about buying, selling, or um, even investing in real estate, which has been a really a new um, piece for us that we've been really focusing on and helping people build wealth uh, through real estate. Again, happy holidays to you and your family. Stay safe out there. And again, thank you so much for your continued support. Hey, Steve Farrington here, Gaylord Hanson Mortgage Team at Loan Depot here in Mesa, Arizona. So you're thinking about buying a home. Well, let me first tell you that buying a home is a great responsibility, but it also comes with long-term financial benefits. There are things to consider when buying a home. So let's get into them before you take that mortgage application. First and foremost, how much does the average home cost? What's a monthly payment look like? Well, when you look at the average home in Maricopa County, the price is about $275,000. If you put 5% down and finance the rest over 30 years, 
that total housing payment, total housing payments can include principal and interest, taxes, insurance, and potential private mortgage insurance, that total payment is going to look to $1,650. And that's just an average. Again, a $250,000 home might be about $1,500. So if that gives you a pretty good idea what that monthly payment looks like, I hope that helps. Now take that in relation to what your current rent is and maybe buying is an option for you. Well, to qualify you, what income do we need? What we're going to take a look at is what your annual income is, divided by 12, and look for a monthly average. And that's really what we're going to use to qualify you, is that monthly average income that you make. So if you make $60,000 a year, divided by 12, it's $5,000 a month. Well, how much of that do I need to qualify? Typically for most programs, you're going to want to stay within a safe range of 40 to 45% of your gross monthly income for total debt payment. That's going to include your new mortgage payment. So on that same $5,000, you're probably looking at a maximum of about $2,300 to $2,400 a month total debt, including the $1,650 we talked about. So again, how much are you willing to spend when you buy a home? Well, that's a question that most people need to answer for themselves. Look at what your current situation is, either personally or as a family, and talk to a mortgage professional. Let us know what you're comfortable making as a monthly payment. We can typically tailor what that home price is going to look like or how much you may have to put down to qualify. And that's going to segue right into the next question. Uh, cost. What are they? Typical cost when buying a home is going to be two of the main things are down payment and closing cost. How much down payment do I need, Steve? I've heard I need to put 20% down. Not the case. Most first time home buyers put on an average nationally of about 6%. Most programs only require a minimum of 3 to 5% down payment when buying a home. That's right, 3 to 5%, not 20%. 20% is to avoid private mortgage insurance, but let's not confuse the issue. 3 to 5% is the minimum typical requirement for almost all programs when buying a home. So besides down payment, what are my other closing costs? Well, the other costs involved with buying a home are going to be third-party costs. Lender fees, title costs, homeowner's insurance, property taxes, days of interest, appraisal. All of those added up. For me, historically, I've always told people, think about another 2% of the purchase price as average closing cost in addition to the down payment that you have. So I'll give you a pretty good idea when you're looking at a $200,000 home that if you have a 5% down payment, $10,000, another 2% for closing cost of about $4,000, that you may need about $14,000 to buy a $200,000 home. Just using those numbers for simple math, again, we can always give you an idea of what those cost and down payment requirements are going to be depending on your program. Now, just be aware, there are programs out there that require less than 3 to 5% down payment. For those of you that are current or active military or veterans of the military or even a surviving spouse, you can get 100% financing through the VA with no down payment required. Now there are also programs for 100% financing through the USDA in some outlying and rural areas. Always talk to a real estate professional or mortgage professional to see if the homes that you're looking at qualify for those homes as well. But again, 3-5% down payment, VA 100% financing, no down payment required, and there are USDA programs for 100% financing as well. And then let me not forget that there are some down payment assistance programs, which you can get help with down payment requirements depending on the area, state, or city that you're looking to buy in. I really appreciate you taking this opportunity uh, to hear some of the information that a lot of home buyers ask. Again, I'm Stephen Farrington with Gaylord Hanson Mortgage Team at Loan Depot. You can reach me directly by calling me at 480-215-5590. Let me give that to you again, 480-215-5590. Or you can always email me at sfarrington at loandepot.com. That's S as in Stephen, F-A-R-R-I-N-G-T-O-N at loandepot.com. So I look forward to hearing from you. I hope this was very helpful, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks.